is a 1985 Ford 6.9 liter IDI engine. This last weekend we tried to start this truck. It's been sitting for uh, quite a long time. Um, overall, the whole truck is in pretty good looking shape. Uh, it's a 4x4 XLT Lariat. <clears throat> it is all original but needs a lot of love. I think it's got about 130 something thousand miles on it. The problem we ran into is First off, we did not have enough fuel pressure uh, from this uh, low pressure lift pump. So went on ahead and put a new lift pump on down here uh, and fixed that problem. So we started getting enough pressure from the uh, discharge side of the filter housing and it was sufficient. Feels pretty foul, smells like uh, mineral spirits, but Nonetheless, we put a lot of fresh fuel in. I think we'll be all right there. Couldn't get it to start. Couldn't get any fuel to come out of the lines. We had all the lines loose. They're still loose. Uh, gonna bleed it out, trying to get the air out of the system. Well, we could not get it to come past the pump. So it was determined after some studying that we had a failure. Uh, we did test the uh, fuel shutoff. We could hear it clicking. I'm actually gonna test this with it off and make sure that we do have actuation out of the solenoid but I don't think there's gonna be a problem it is cracked so I think I would want to replace it but uh, the fuel metering valve was stuck and it was stuck toward the rear which would have had the fuel shut off and uh, I was subsequently able to get the thing cleaned out and now it's free I believe this is going to remedy the problem. It could not start, so we didn't have any discharge out of the rear ports of the pump going to the injector lines. Uh, there was nothing going on there. So we're going to put this pump back together, and I'm going to test this valve and probably show that as well. So here we have the injection pump fuel shutoff valve and the IDI uh, injection pump cover that has the solenoid in it for the fuel shutoff. And uh, like I said, the uh, we could hear it clicking. So what I'm going to do is I've got it set up to ground and battery uh, positive and ground. It is grounded back here on the back um, to the terminals for the ground. So I'm just going to touch this and let's watch the solenoid. So as we see, it is moving and it would allow the fuel metering valve to float freely at that point. The uh, This tab right here will go into a slot that is up here in the fuel pump. It would actually go right here on the back side of this little ramp and that would, when it is uh, energized, the button goes backwards which would allow this thing to go forward and backwards. If it shuts with the power off it automatically is going to go forward which will shut the fuel off, close the metering valve. So with it uh, energized it moves out of the way, fuel is able to travel at that point. So this, uh, this like I said it was stuck before and now it's free so I think we'll be alright. <laughs> 